Hi everyone. We are here to talk more about our newest launch of the Enterprise Series NAS, which is the TVS ECX80U SAS, featuring our exclusive and new tier in technology, Q tier. We'll be also going over the TVS EC1580MU SAS and also its expansion unit for the series, REXP X20 SAS units. Let's start by looking at the trend of SSD adoption. This is from a recent research report gathering data on why companies started to use SSDs in their IT environment. And it shows that due to the improved performance, reliability, and its longevity, more and more enterprises have started using, using SSDs into their IT in infrastructure. And because of the price drops, it has become easier for consumers and also the enterprises to adopt it. However, types of SSDs, they also vary. We see the shift from MLC to TLC because the price will continuously to drop and TLC being higher in performance and reliability. Furthermore, you see PCIe usage will also continue to grow, but it is limited by its lack of expandability and also it is not hot swappable and has a higher price. Hence, 12 gig SAS SSD has the best potential to be the next trend. Or SATA with higher revisions such as the SATA 3.0 and above can be paired with PCIe as the interface for RAID controller. QNAP has produced full SSD storage years ago and it's super high performance and comes with a very high price tag. We can assume not many people have adopted the solution. And in, in addition to the rack's high cost, the use of all SSDs makes the storage acquisition very unattainable. This brings up our topic of today. How can we build high capacity storage while achieving high performance? And today we'll be talking about the TVS ECX80U SAS series, NAS which QNAP has engineered 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch hybrid storage appliances to provide high capacity storage while maintaining performance comparable to a full SSD storage solution. The series can accommodate six 2.5 inch and nine 3.5 inch hard drives to achieve multi-tiered storage architecture with 12 gigs high speed data transfer. And let's compare the TVS EC15MU with a full SSD solution, as both are in 2U in terms of form factor. The QNAP TVS EC15MU with a built-in Q-tier outperforms the full SSD storage in capacity, which is four times bigger and is, has more advantages in its price and performance than the full SSD storage. You can see the prices per gigabyte of data in average for SSDs are 52 cents per gig, while the Q tier series NAS, each gigabyte comes up to be around 10 cents. Capacity-wise, full SSDs in the 2U model would be around 19.2 terabytes with the 24 SSDs in total, while with the TVS EC1580MU, you would have 4.8 terabytes of SSD and 72 terabytes of hard drives both performing excellent speeds. Q tier supports the following three tiers. The first tier, ultra high performance. Second is the performance tier. And the third is the capacity tier. Let's take the 1580MU as an example. We configured RAID 10 or RAID 5 on the system using six 2.5 inch SSDs and RAID 5 with the nearline SAS or SATA drives. With Q-Tier, the system will automatically move frequently used data to ultra-high performance tier and rarely use data to the capacity tier. Q-Tier is a block-based data migration technology, and the block size for data detection and calculation is 4 megabytes. QNAP adopts a B-Tree update algorithm to give each data block a calculated weight. Data blocks with higher weights means higher frequency, of data access and will therefore be moved to a higher performance tier. For an example, moving data from a hard drive RAID group to an SSD RAID group. The Q-tier technology also makes sure that data migration and metadata update will not interfere with normal I.O. Moreover, 
data integrity can be achieved by leveraging the transaction-based B-tree update algorithm. In addition to setting my data migration schedule and priority, you can also define auto-tiering policy to migrate data according to your application's requirements. You can set up migration schedule at night or when you do not require services to improve the overall data migration efficiency. Let's take a look at this block diagram. The system will move data based on the calculated data axis, frequency, and schedule. Example, moving cold data to high capacity and hot data to high speed tier. To maintain data integrity, data migration will not interfere the normal data I.O. According to the report in the Q-Tier app in QTS, it shows that the data has been moved, an example, from which tier to which tier, and the time spent for migration, you can see in this little chart. In our lab at QNAP, we used two E5-2600 servers, each with six cores and 12 threads, and a total of 24 workers to test their performance. The result was more than 100,000 IOPS, and the response time is 0.1 millisecond. And we can see the LED on SSDs keep flashing to indicate that the most IO operations are still on the SSDs. In our lab, we've set a RAID 10 configuration with six 2.5 inch SSDs, each having 500 gigabytes, and RAID 6 with 3.5 inch nearline SAS. We used two E5 servers and mounted the TVS EC1580MU to the server and created 150 virtual machines using login VSI create. The result was about 2,000 milliseconds. The TVS EC1580MU SAS completed the full test without exceeding the average response time latency threshold. And you can see prior to using the Q-tier feature, the free space of tier 1 SSDs had only 1.29 terabytes left, with 80 gigabytes allocated. The bottom graph shows in blue is the latency of the QNAP in terms of performance. When after enabling Q-tier, we moved 470 gigabytes data from the high-performing SSD tier to tier 3, and with the VI login shows our performance did not deteriorate on the VMs. Meaning that, in conclusion, the performance was similar and without exceeding the average response time latency threshold. And the utilization of SSD storage has become more efficient. So why SAS? Not only they are known for its high reliability, and the next generation SAS controller utilizes PCIe Gen 3 to provide 64 gigabits per second bandwidth with a 12 gig SAS expander and its data bulk technology, it further provides scalability and manageability by enabling the aggregation of throughput of slower disks. So even the six gigs hard drives can utilize 12 gigs bandwidth. And let's now compare with the previous generation X79U SAS. The X79U SAS uses PCIe Gen 2 times 8, 40 gigabits per second, which is the culprit of the data transmission bottleneck. As we can see that every SSD can only achieve 500 to 550 megabytes throughput for a total of 6,000 megabytes per second on a 2U model. And with the new X80U SAS architecture, it can improve the performance by 37%. Aside from the high throughput for internal data transmission, the system also boosts its high network capability. So QNAP partnered with Mellanox to provide Connect X3 Pro solution, dual port 10 gig SFP plus solution, and the industry's first dual port 40 gigs QSFP solution. Besides the 1580MU SAS hybrid model, the 80U SAS series offers 2U 12 bay, 3U 16 bay, 4U 24 bay models. It's powered by an Intel E3 1246V3 3.5 GHz CPU with a 16 DDR3 RAM. The ECC options are available and a 256 SSD cache. The system offers an abundance of expandability options, such as with a 12 gig SAS interface and an onboard mini SAS Y port 
to provide connections for a 12 gig SAS JBOD for ex capacity expansion. The PCIe Gen 3 slot can accommodate 12 gig HBA for scale out solutions, dual port 10 gigs, or 40 gig network adapter. And to scale up, there are the 12 gig JBOD REXP X20 series, which includes the 2U 12 bay and also the 3U 16 bay models. With the JBOD units, you can also do auto tiering by utilizing the JBOD for your cold data. In this ideal scenario, there are three tiers on this JBOD expansion. The top model is the TVS 1580MU, while the bottom model would be the REXP 1220U, which stores the cold data. QNAP NAS offers storage solutions based on standardized protocols and infrastructure and compliant to major virtualization software. Therefore, we are able to provide high performance and the industry's most comprehensive data storage for backup and disaster recovery. So this is the chart of QNAP versus its competitor with a similar model and specs. And you can see that QNAP has the 40 gigs ready and also the auto tiering technology that is exclusive. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, please email us at usasales at qnap.com. I thank you for taking the time and listening and um, learning more about our products. So feel free to contact us. Thank you again. Have a good day.